What's up guys and welcome back to Too Much Tech and in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Razer Basilisk V2. First time reviewing a Basilisk on the channel. Obviously this mouse was made to really compete with the G502. I'm going to tell you why it's better than the G502. The only kind of complaint that I have about the Basilisk, I feel like there's a lot of Basilisk out right now. So like they have like the basic one and then they have the cheap wireless one and then they have this one and then they have the Basilisk Ultimate and they're like all different price ranges so i guess if you really want a basilisk there's one for every budget so i guess a lot of these things can be applied universally to most of them if you want this mouse you'll be able to afford one of them at least so let's go ahead and mention the drag and drop things real quick that razor did to make the basilisk better so number one they drag and drop the ptfe feet drag and drop the focus plus sensor drag and drop the optical switches and they drag and dropped the uh, speed flex cable all right a lot of easy upgrades right there. So glad that they're just doing it across the board at this point. I'm glad that companies aren't really making a really big deal out of this because uh, all these things, especially since 2019, the uprise of a lot of higher end mice, these shouldn't really have to be things that we have to ask for anymore. They should be standard. So I'm glad that Razer is taking that step. So what I like about the Basilisk, it is really comfortable. I like how it's not nearly as heavy as the G502, all the versions that I tried because they, they just seem kind of hefty where this one, it's not the lightest mouse I've tried, but it is noticeably lighter than a G502. So for that reason alone, I already prefer it. On top of that versus the Basilisk V1, this one is a little bit lighter as well and is noticeable. It's nothing game changing, but it is noticeable. So, you know, I give Razer credit for that as well. The switches, good to use. Sensor, good to use, of course. Paracord, same thing. Skates, same thing. But I really did enjoy using this mouse because it brought back something that I really liked using on the SteelSeries Rival 600. I really did enjoy using that third mouse button. And this one, this little removable trigger that they added right here, they only gave you the longer one in the box, no longer the uh, that super tiny one they used to give you in the old Basilisk. But I feel like this one is the appropriate size anyways, personally. It's really easy to hit. It works every time without fail. So I give them credit for that because uh, I do really like having a third mouse button. And I wish that some ultra light mice will start introducing three mouse buttons on the side as well because uh i feel like it's useful the build quality standard razor you know just plastic and rubber it's about as good as it's gonna get from razor a little bit on the cheaper side but it's decent it's passable but i'm glad that they use plastic and rubber instead of like metal and stuff like the 502 because that's what makes it a ton heavier you've got 11 Count 11 programmable buttons you got your two buttons to change your dpi your two optical switches up top side buttons for your scroll wheel obviously pressing it down and then three mouse buttons on the side your profile button on the bottom but yeah this thing has a ton of buttons and they're all remappable so if you need that many buttons i don't need them I don't use all of them, but um, yeah, I mean, honestly speaking, I feel like those are kind of nice for like maybe media controllers or something. And you need something that's gonna be a gaming slash productivity mouse, then this could do the job. But the absolute best thing about the Basilisk V2 is definitely the adjustable scroll wheel tension. So I feel like the sound is kind of annoying, but the fact that it's so adjustable is really nice and you can tune it to whatever the perfect adjustability that you think it should be. And it's really easy to do too. There's just a little scroll wheel on the bottom and then adjust the tension of the scroll wheel for you. That way, if you do use the scroll wheel a lot, for example, in a battle royale to switch items, you'll pretty much set it to your perfect specification and you'll never have to worry about overshooting switching items because they do make it really easy to adjust it to your perfect settings. But yeah, if I needed a mouse with a ton of buttons like this one, I would definitely go ahead and pick this one over a G502 just because I feel like the G502 feels more like I'm using a brick. And this one is a little bit more in line with getting closer to what I'm used to. Of course, if they could drop the weight, that would be great, but I'm pretty sure that might be kind of hard as I feel like this mouse is kind of already light as it is. And um, other than them cutting holes in the mouse, I don't really know what else they can really do. But yeah, this is definitely hands down the best version of the Basilisk that they've made, barring the Basilisk Ultimate because it's wireless and they got the charging dock just like the Viper Ultimate. Do you guys think we need a Death Adder Ultimate too? I didn't mention that in a Death Adder video. Maybe they should just do an ultimate version of everything. So you got like your regular version and then the ultimate version. But yeah, like I said, they got like four different versions of this mouse, not including the first one. That's still on sale right now. 
Anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new. If you guys have any other questions concerning the Basilisk V2, feel free to drop them in the comments below as well as hit me up in Discord and uh, I can answer your questions. And it's got some solid upgrades. I would recommend this for sure if you're looking for a mouse with this many buttons and I would definitely recommend this over the G502. But yeah, thank you guys once again for tuning in and don't forget to hit that bell so that you guys are notified every time we upload a new video. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.